What if I told you a single truck could stretch longer than 15 football fields? <laughs> Sounds insane, right? But it's real. These beasts are called road trains, and they carry loads so massive they make ordinary trucks look like toy cars. Imagine being stuck behind one at a crossing, you'd have enough time to order food, eat it, and still see trailers rolling past. That's not a joke. That's road train life. Let's dive in, buckle your seatbelt, and discover the craziest machines rolling across Earth. This is not your average trucking story. It's something bigger, bolder, and unbelievably entertaining. What exactly is a road train? At its core, a road train is simple. Take a prime mover, basically a super truck, and hook up multiple trailers behind it. The result? A convoy on wheels. These mechanical snakes are most famous in Australia, where the outback's endless deserts demand extreme solutions. Distances are vast, railways don't reach everywhere, and goods need to move. The answer? Just keep adding trailers until the job gets done. On public highways in Australia, the legal limit is about 53.5 meters around 175 feet. That's longer than a Boeing 747 jumbo jet, and when fully loaded, they can weigh more than 200 metric tons. Think of 30 African elephants hitching a ride. If you try to overtake one, pack a lunch, you might need it before you see the front again. Drivers say sitting behind the wheel feels less like driving and more like steering an entire town down the highway. Out here, the road isn't just transport, it's survival, and road trains are the only lifeline. Records that make no sense. Now let's talk records. If normal road trains are long, record-breaking ones are downright ridiculous. The reigning king was created in Clifton, Queensland in 2006. One truck pulled 113 trailers, stretching 1,474 meters. That's nearly one and a half kilometers. Imagine standing at one end and squinting to see the other. You'd lose it in the horizon. But that wasn't the first stunt. In 2000, a driver pulled 79 trailers over a kilometer in length. In 2003, another road train stretched stretched out with 87 trailers over 1.2 kilometers. Each attempt grew bigger, heavier, and crazier. If patience is a virtue, imagine the poor driver waiting for that monster to clear an intersection. Some locals joked you could cook dinner, set the table, and still beat the tail end across. These records weren't just broken, they were obliterated, each one daring the next driver to try something even more outrageous. Australia's Mega Hauler. Among these giants, one machine deserves special mention. It's nicknamed the Centipede, and for good reason, it has more wheels than seems reasonable. Try 110 of them. This monster is 160 feet long, rides on 28 axles, and can carry 205 tons of ore. That's the skeleton of an entire skyscraper in a single load. Park your sedan next to it and you'll feel like you're driving a toy from a cereal box. Even a normal 18-wheeler looks embarrassed beside it. The centipede is what happens when engineers look at a truck and say, not big enough, add more. Global Giants Australia may be the spiritual home of road trains, but the world has its own mechanical legends. Enter the Nicholas Tractomus, a French-built beast that made its way to South Africa. This thing is a tractor on steroids, weighing 71 tons all by itself. In 2015, it earned the Guinness World Record as the heaviest road-going tractor ever made. Coupled with specialized trailers, it could haul up to 550 tons. That's like dragging five blue whales on holiday without water. When its engine roars to life, it feels less like a truck and more like a mobile earthquake. Then there are modular transporters. These look like giant metal platforms covered in wheels, and they can be controlled by something as humble as a joystick. Engineers use them to move objects that seem impossible, like entire oil rigs, tanks, or even buildings. In one case in Malaysia, a 500-ton gas tank traveled 15 miles by road. Imagine waking up to see a house-sized tank inching past your street. That's not a dream. That's heavy haulage reality. To onlookers, it feels like the world's largest game of slow-motion Tetris playing out on real roads. When the Giants Fall For all their glory, these machines are not invincible. In 2025, Western Australia was reminded of that the hard way. During a brutal dust storm, a triple trailer road train carrying iron ore lost control and rolled. 
Fortunately, no lives were lost, but the image of hundreds of tons of steel tipped over in the sand was sobering. The wreck stretched across the highway like a fallen steel serpent. It reminded everyone engineers, drivers, and miners alike that safety must always come first. Driving a car is stressful enough in bad weather. Imagine wrestling with three trailers full of rock in a storm that makes visibility almost zero. Sometimes the outback wins, and when it does, the lesson is written in twisted metal and dust. Bigger than road. If you think road trains are insane, let's peek at their bigger cousins, rail trains. In 2001, BHP set a record that makes even road trains look tiny. Eight locomotives hauled 682 wagons, stretching 7.3 kilometers and weighing nearly 100,000 tons. That's more iron ore than some countries mine in a year. Picture standing at a crossing while a 7 kilometer train rolls by. You'd have time to cook dinner, do laundry, and maybe binge watch a whole season of your favorite show before the caboose showed up. The humor of the impossible. Part of the magic of road trains is how absurd they are. Imagine explaining them to someone who's never seen one. Yes, it's a truck, but longer than a skyscraper is tall. No, it doesn't run on tracks. Yes, it turns corners somehow. The disbelief is half the fun. Even for locals, they're a running joke. Try overtaking one on a two-lane highway and you'll understand the meaning of patience. Or picture a tourist asking, how many trailers does that truck have? The correct answer is usually, too many. Humor makes these giants more than machines. They become stories, legends, and sometimes punchlines. They prove that reality is strange than fiction and funnier too. Why we build them. Behind the humor lies a serious truth. Road trains exist because we need them. Mining companies in remote areas have no choice but to move or across deserts where railways don't reach. Farmers need to haul cattle, grain, and supplies across distances that would terrify most truckers. The economy depends on these monsters doing what smaller trucks simply cannot. They are problem solvers in steel and diesel, proof of human creativity under pressure. Every trailer added is a solution to a logistical puzzle. The longer they get, the more they symbolize resilience and innovation. In many ways, they are lifelines without them. Remote towns would simply vanish. Every trip is not just about cargo, but about survival survival and connection in some of the harshest environments on earth. From awe to inspiration. Hearing about road trains is like riding an emotional roller coaster. First comes awe. How can something that long even stay on the road? Then comes humor jokes about waiting half an hour for one to pass, or comparing it to whales and snakes. Next comes tension, the crashes, the storms, the risks of driving one. Finally, inspiration takes over. These machines show us that limits are not walls. They're just invitations to push further. Each road train is proof that courage and engineering can rewrite the rules of what's possible. Possible. They don't just move loads, they move imaginations, showing that impossible is only a challenge waiting to be met. If you enjoyed this wild ride into the world of road trains, hit that like button, subscribe for more insane transport stories, and drop your craziest impossible load story in the comments. Next time, we'll dive into the science of how these monsters even turn corners spoiler. It's not magic, but it feels like it.